What's up guys? So, I wanna do a video, a uh, Jacob's Journal, if you guys might like this one. I'm actually sitting out here in a Tivoli village right now, out in the uh, west side of town here in Summerlin. It's early morning, it's quiet. Well, you know, I'll just stop and I'll do a Jacob's Journal, or you know, maybe I'll do a couple of videos here, I don't know. But I wanna talk about one about YouTube. Since I've been on YouTube now for, uh, gosh, over three years, guys. Can you believe it? Over three years I've been on this. And, um, you know, I just want to talk about some of the reasons I actually really like being here on YouTube. And, you know, things that, I guess, have come to fruition now that maybe I didn't think about early on or in the beginning or, um, you know, those kind of things. So, I'm going to go through seven reasons why I enjoy this. And the first one I'll tell you guys is that being on YouTube, um, it is a challenge, <laughs> okay? I gotta say, it is a challenge. Uh, if you guys watch like my very like way back in my uh, on my YouTube page, go back and watch look at like my oldest videos. Um, you guys see me talk now, as you see, I'm sitting here comfortably just talking away on the camera. It's no big deal, and this is kind of a spur of the moment video. I had the idea for a while, but I just never sat down anywhere and made it. So I'm like, you know, this seems like a good place to just stop and make this video real quickly. So when you look at my um, early videos, the very beginning, it's it's actually funny when I think about it now because. You know, I'm comfortable here on camera, but um, you know, back then I did not even want to be on camera. Even like getting over that fear was quite the, um, you know, quite the hurdle for me. So in the beginning, you look at my first two videos on here, they're of like the Bellagio Fountains and like the Mirage Volcano, right? Because I didn't even want to put my face on camera. I just wanted to like record something and put it online first and see how it went. And then I did a few in my place where I'm just, you guys have seen, maybe seen in my old ones, I'm just sitting on a couch or like, you know, in my bedroom or in a chair or whatever. And I'm just like talking in my house. I'm like, okay, now I got to get outside, like out here, you know, and show people what Vegas is actually like because it's really an awesome place. So well, there was a, that challenge, that uh, challenge it was to, um, you know, do that. And then that brings me to the second thing is that challenge really gives you an opportunity for personal growth. That's kind of a trip. You guys have seen me do uh, probably some videos about that. I did the one I went to the karaoke bar and sang karaoke. I've done that twice now. You know, first time I was kind of scared to do it, and then went up there and did it. I was like, whatever. Then did it another time, just when I was out another night. Now it's kind of like, yeah, I'll do it. It's not. I don't know. Karaoke's my favorite thing to do, but it's like, yeah, I'll go up there and do it. It's like, you know, not that big of a deal. So, you know, that's cool. That's a challenge gives you a chance to grow. Um, another thing I'll say, the third thing is you get to meet a lot of people when you do this, and uh, I'll say meet other YouTube. I'll start off with other YouTubers because you guys have seen on here. I have some videos with other YouTubers, right? The Trooper is one a lot of people like to watch me and they watch the Trooper, so he and I did a video together. A lot of people also like to watch uh, the Got Love. You guys saw the Got Love channel. Um, you know, did a video with them before with the Scatty family, the uh, Russian couple. Also did a vlog, you know, with, when we did the one with Got Love, also did the one with uh, Culp Fiction on their channel. And then also people like to watch uh, the Scatty family channel. Some of those of you speak Russian. Anyway, the few of you that might. Did a video with them, remember, over a year ago now. Did one a while ago with uh, the Hay Goods house. I mean, geez, that was quite some time ago. So, you know, I've gotten to meet some other YouTubers just here in Vegas. I got to meet other YouTubers, you know, around the country. And I go to conferences, I get to talk to them and see them again. It's kind of funny, become part of like, that community. So I go to a conference, you know, and I see other YouTubers from other states and stuff. Like, oh, yeah, I saw you last year. You catch up with them. It's like, man, you're in the same industry now. So, you know, that part is pretty cool. Uh, the fourth thing I'll say is you get to meet uh, subscribers. I get people now, I've been in it for several years now, so I get people who see me around town who are like, oh man, like, dude, you're, like, you're the reason we moved to Vegas, so you watched a bunch of your videos before I came out here, they were awesome, thank you, you know, and it's like, that part is really cool when people come up to me and they're like, oh yeah, dude, we moved here, you know, we watched all your videos before we moved here from Hawaii or from Ohio or from, you know, wherever the case was, and like, that part is actually pretty cool, people come up and say, and say I remember the first couple times it happened to me, it was kind of surreal, but I've gotten a little a little more used to it now when someone's just kind of like staring at me in public like they recognize me. <laughs> uh, which the other thing too that's really cool when people come, I think I'm on reason number five right now if I remember right, is uh, people will come to me, you know, and they tell me basically how much I was able to help them. And that's a cool thing. People come to you and they're like, dude, your videos were so helpful. Like, when I was getting ready to move here, like, I didn't know what to expect. I had no idea. Where people say, hey man, your vacation advice was really good. Thanks. Or, you know, on my 
Nightlife channel, Jacob's Dole Playground. People are like, dude, your tips for the club were so helpful. Thanks, man. You know, that kind of stuff like that. And I'm able to save people money, you know, when they're coming out here on vacation or people are getting ready to move here. I'm kind of able to like, ease their nerves a bit because, you know, you're coming to a new place. You're coming to another state you're not familiar with. You see stuff about Vegas online, but it's all like the strip, right? And, you know, none of it is like out here. So, you know, it was very foreign to people to come here and see that. So it was cool. I'm able to help people, you know, with those kind of things. And I'll lead into the next point, I'll say, you know, the cool part about this too, the thing I really like, is when you do this and you build an audience and you have people who follow you, they like your content, they build rapport with you, they have trust in you, um, you know, it really helps give you more control over your life. And people might think like, well, what do you mean? You know, it gives you more control over your life. One, the big part of that's financial, right? And that was a big reason why I started this channel. I was because I just saw a huge hole in the marketplace, a big opening. I was like, man, I was like, I couldn't believe there was nobody on YouTube talking about Vegas like I am now. Like when I was getting ready to move here several years ago, I was like, there's nobody in Vegas that like talks about what it's like to live there. There's nobody living in Vegas that shows like tourist stuff to do. There's nobody in Vegas that like, you know, vlogs what they're doing while they're there. Like nobody that lives there, like there's a, like, there's a couple million people there. How come nobody is doing this? Because I see videos about moving to Hawaii, moving to New York and other places where there's people covering that kind of topic. But I'm like, how come nobody does this in Vegas? It was kind of crazy to me. I saw this just big opening in the marketplace for this channel and for my nightlife one. There was nobody talking about ni nightlife in Vegas either. It's the nightlife capital of the world and nobody's talking about this. So that's why I started Jacob's Adult Playground to capitalize on that. You know, so when people like your content, they see what you have to offer, they build rapport with you. You know, if somebody you're watching me right now, you've never seen me in your life in person, but you watch me and you build rapport, you're like, you know, you come to get, feel like you get to know the person personally. Um, you know, and I've had, I've had that with other YouTubers I've watched, you know, I've paid for consultations from people, uh, where I've watched them for a year or more and I pay for a consultation and I'm talking to them just like, you know, I've known them for walks. I've been watching them for, you know, however long and, and now I'm talking to them on the phone or uh, talking to them on Skype or whatever the case is. So, um, it's interesting, man. So, I mean, we, but you get that control of your life because when you have people who come to you, you build an audience who follow, you know, other people take notice of that and they come to you. So like, you know, because... I have businesses now that come to me for videos. They want to put a video on my channel. They say, hey, we would like to have a video on your channel. You know, we'd like to market on your channel to your audience. We see you have this audience and we think our business would match up well with your audience. You know, we'd like to market to them. You know, I get, I'm going to get more and more of that in the future. And that's just, you know, part of what makes it even better because you build an audience, you're able to help people, you're able to give them information, stuff that's useful for them. There's financial reward for that. And when you have financial reward, you get more income, you have more income, you have more options for your life, and it helps give you more control over your life. You know, when you have a bigger income, I mean, you can choose to live in a better neighborhood, you can choose better health care, you can choose better schools to send your kids. You have so many more options in your life when you have that, but you don't get that unless you're doing something to help other people, <laughs> like for the most part. So, you know, that's what I have to do first, and then you're able to have more control of your life because I've been for years and years and years putting out lots of good information, lots of good content to people, helping people when they want to come here and buy a home, like, hey, I need a realtor, who can you refer me to? Looking to rent a place, hey, who do you know that could probably help me out? You know, I'm gonna have more of that in the future, I'm sure, you know, and that as that continues to grow, there's gonna be people who, businesses who come to me, they want to advertise, you know, and you know, I'm gonna, talk to people and say, okay, well, I think this person, you know, is a good job or they do have a good business. And okay, fine. I'll, I'll let you advertise. I'll let you market on my channel, you know, to my audience that I've built. And you're, you're just able to connect people who need help with someone who's trying to reach more people. I mean, that's, you know, I'm the intermediary for that. And then probably the last thing I'll say for all of this is that because I'm doing this now and because I built this, it lets me have so many more new experiences. Like, because I'm doing this now, that's why I go to these conferences. I get to meet all these other YouTubers and other people I've seen on YouTube. I'm like, dang, channel's way bigger than mine, and they're huge. I'm like, they're up there speaking. I'm like, Shh. like I've watched this person. Now here I am. You know, they're speaking. And I'm in the same room with them, or I'm having dinner with them, or hanging out with them after the conference or whatever it is. Or, you know, I go to these. Um, you know, I get to do hotels, like do room tours and stuff. And you know, people will offer to like get, let me have stuff for free, or you know, offer to pay me. They said to advertise their business or whatever their service is. It's like, I mean, how many people get to have that kind of experience in their life? Or someone's like calling them, you know, reaching out to them, saying like, "Hey, we'd like you to cover this for us. You know, here's what we'll give you." It's like, <laughs> that's a pretty cool experience to have happen. I gotta admit, that's a pretty cool thing to have happen. People do that. So I just know as the audience gets bigger, you know, that's gonna happen more and more. As I'm able to help and reach more people, that's gonna happen more. But I gotta admit, those are some pretty cool things about having been here on YouTube. 
for over three years now. I'm glad I stuck with it. I plan to do this for a long time because it's just getting good now. I really think it's just getting good right now. So just want to share with you guys for this video. If you guys just found the channel, please subscribe. I do videos like this once in a while. Jacob's uh, journal videos where I just kind of talk about something personal, something not really related to Vegas or maybe only partially related to Vegas. Then I also do... Um, you know, the stuff about living here, vlogs, show my daily life, stuff to help you tourists that are coming on vacation, that kind of thing. So, hey, you guys like it, please subscribe, okay? That's it for this video. See you guys in the next one.